Hello, everybody. Good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm very hard. All right. Yes. How are you? How are you doing? Very good. Mm. So and so. More and more. In my job. You are. Are you at your job right now? Yes. Are I you, um. You're working. Yes, I am working in a computer. Just the system CS El Salvador. Ah, okay. Yes. Very good. All right, guys. Hello, uh, Miguel, Lydia, Juan. Good to see you, Andrea, Melody. Good to see you guys. Okay. All right. You guys are ready to get started. Let's go over uh, the questions that I have for you today. Okay. So uh, we only have class Monday through Thursday. Okay. Uh, that link that I sent you for Zoom. The I un calendario ahí, right? There's a calendar, there's a program of classes there. The, the link that I sent you, and it says Friday, okay? But we don't have class Friday, okay? Eh, ese día de Friday está allí por si tenemos que reponer alguna clase, okay? So we don't have class tomorrow, it's only Monday through Thursday, okay? We have classes only Monday to, through Thursday. All right, so I hope to finish the reading section today. I want you to feel comfortable with the reading section, okay? Uh, at least I want you to understand, ah, this question is, uh, I already know this type of question. This is a uh, negative factual questions. Ah, this is a factual question, right? So that you can identify the questions because that's gonna help you. It's gonna help you take time. It's gonna help you implement the correct strategies. It's gonna help you um, uh, skimming and scanning. So it's, it's gonna help you save time. All right, so let me share with you. All right, uh, very good. So hemos visto uh, factual and detailed questions. Let me make it bigger. All right, hemos visto factual uh, questions, right? Uh, hemos visto también negative factual questions, right? Remember they have the word accept or they have the word not, okay? Uh, and then we have skimming and scanning. Aprendimos esa herramienta, skimming and scanning. We learned that tool. Okay, skimming is looking for the main idea and scanning is looking for more detailed information. Usually numbers, dates, uh, time, things like that. Okay, very good. Examples of skimming. Vimos también examples of scanning. Okay, uh, normally we're looking for, ah, and, and to do the scanning, you have to read the question first, right? Okay, so como vamos a trabajar, se acuerdan la, la orden que le di? Number one, you're going to skim. Okay, number two, you're going to read the question, right? Read the question. And then you're going to do the scanning process. Okay, so pueden trabajar así. Scan, read the question, scan. Okay, so that's going to be the process that, that you can use. All right, another question that we learned. Ap aprendimos factual information questions. These are just like the normal WH questions, right? Uh, factual information questions, pueden tener la palabra WH, what, when, where. Uh, then we learned yesterday inference and rhetorical purpose questions. Inference, van a saber que es an in inference question because the name is right there. Uh, it's going to be right on the question. Inferred. What can you infer from the passage? Okay. Very good. So you're going to do the same process. Skimming, read the question, and then go to your scanning process, right? 
hicimos algunas pruebas y vimos que en menos de un minuto podemos eliminar dos o tres que nada que ver. All right. Inference can also be identified. Sometimes you're going to have the word imply, suggest, or infer. Okay, so be careful with those. Imply, suggest, or infer. Um, then you have rhetorical questions. Rhetorical questions is asking you why, el por qué. Por qué dijo esto esta persona? Okay. Why does the author say his romanticism influence ideas? Okay. Rhetorical questions are always going to answer a why. Okay. Now we're going to look at three more type of questions. All right. So what you can do to, I, to look at this y poner esto ya en algo visual, you can take the, you can go to YouTube and look at some practice tests that are on there. All right, highlighted questions. We're going to look at highlighted questions, okay? Estas son bien fácil, look. Highlighted questions will be a sentence in the passage that will be highlighted, así como dice el nombre. Highlighted significa resaltada o fosforescente, highlighter. Uh, you're going to be right in the passage. Now, this is what you have to do. You have to select the answer uh, that best expresses the essential information in the passage. Okay. Ya vamos a ver un ejemplo. Essential information means absolutely necessary or extremely important. Note, incorrect choices will change the meaning or leave out important information. Ya vamos a explicar esto un poquito más. Look at this example. If you look at this example, ¿cómo sé que es un highlighted question? Porque va a haber una parte que está en otro color. Okay? Right? So, todo esto que está en azul, eso, eso viene así, el examen viene así, así de, ya highlighted. So, the question is, which of the sentence below best, best expresses the essential information in the highlighted part? Okay, so, ¿tengo que leer todo el artículo? Mm, no. No, you don't have to, right? To make sure, maybe you do, you, maybe you do want to check, like, um, I'm going to read it. Maybe you have time and you can go back and read it, the, the rest, okay? But I only have to focus on the part that is in blue. Por eso se llama highlighted section, okay? Now, this is, listen to this word. It says, uh, which of the passages best expresses essential information? Right? So, es decir, si no es esencial, when I read the answers, si no es esencial a esto, entonces la elimino. Okay? Right? That is what that means. Okay? Uh, the same process, you can use skimming, you can read the question, focus on the, on the highlighted part, and then use scanning. Okay, pueden trabajar de la misma forma. Skimming, read the questions, and then go to scanning. So, incorrect choices, okay? For example, si yo leo, let's say, uh, no, no quiero entrar así a hacer un ejemplo solamente, ya vamos a hacer otro de práctica. So if I read, for example, I read A, right? And if it contradicts or it changes the meaning of this, then it's incorrect, okay? ¿Entendieron eso que dije? I'm going to repeat it, okay? Let me repeat it. I'm going to read the answer. Let's say, for example, I read answer A. If it contradicts or it changes the meaning of this, then it's wrong, right? That's, that's what you have to check, okay? So I'm going to read, for example, B. Well, let a answer, uh, answer choice B. I'm going to read it. If it changes the meaning here, es decir, hay una contradicción, if it changes the meaning or it leaves out important information, then it's incorrect, okay? 
ya vamos a practicar un poquito. All right, so I promise you, we'll, we'll do some practices. Okay. Does anybody have questions? Questions? So, ¿cómo se llaman este tipo de preguntas? Highlighted questions. Okay. They're only going to ask me to focus on the highlighted part, right? So, me voy a enfocar en la parte que está en azul. Okay. That's what they want me to do in the test. Okay. I'm going to use skimming. I'm going to read the question and I'm going to do scanning. All right. Let's look at another example. Here's another example. Okay. So if you look here, the question, which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the highlighted sentence? Okay. So look, I'm going to do skimming. I'm going to read the questions and then I'm going to go back and scan. Now, in la parte de skimming, okay, la parte de skimming, what do I have to look for there? The main idea, right? Skimming, estoy buscando the main idea, okay? So that main idea, that's very important, right? Why is it important? Because it's going to be the essential information. Okay. So when I read my choices, right? Entonces después, I understand the meaning. I understand the essential information in the part that's in blue. Once I read my answer choice, if it changes, this is see, I read A, right? If A changes or leaves out essential information from the highlighted section, is going to be wrong, okay? Questions? Any questions? All right. Let's look at another example. Ah, no, that's it, I only have two examples because I have, a, uh, we're gonna look at a test today. All right, so for the first type of questions, que vimos, highlighted questions, Preguntas for these type of questions. Okay. Aquí hay un ejemplo. Questions. All right. So this is the highlighted questions, right? So me tengo que enfocar in the highlighted section. That's where I want to focus, right? Here. This is going to be my focus, right? Todo esto. All right, let's go and look at the next set of questions. Ahora vamos a ver tres tipos de preguntas, right? So that's number one, highlighted questions. Number two, vocabulary in context questions. Okay, como son estas? They're like this, look. They have one word. I only have to focus on the meaning of one word, right? Y ya... Para facilitar todo, ellos me la, da, me la dan en un color azul. Right? So look, here's my word, it's true. Okay? Y aquí está mi palabra, it's true. Okay? ¿Qué hicieron ustedes acá? What would you do for this type of questions? What steps will you follow? ¿Mm? ¿Cómo responderían ustedes? Es decir, ¿qué estrategia usarán? What would you do? In this case, mm -hmm. skim and only read the sentence where the word is used. That's where you get the whole meaning. Correct. Yo siempre hiciera skimming mm -hmm. to understand the, the main idea, right? Right. For And then step number two, read the question, obviamente, right? Read the question. And step number three, focus on the sentence with the word. That's what I would do. Mm -hmm. All right, so for example, uh, Miguel, uh, go ahead and follow those steps, right? And nos puedes ahí comentar, ¿qué hiciste? What did you think about? Mm -hmm. Well, actually I 
did a step two first and then a step three. Okay, okay, it's fine. Uh, uh, since it's only ask, asking me the meaning of the word that is mm -hmm. highlighted, mm -hmm. I just check the word, which is some of the debris may get strewn across the Earth's orbit around the sun. Mm -hmm. In this case, it doesn't sound like combined, it's like combined, like mm -hmm. damaged or, or observed, so mm -hmm. it's gathered this. Okay, very good. The correct answer, I agree with you, the correct answer is D, scattered, okay? Some of the debris may get strewn across Earth's orbit around the sun. Debris is, what is debris, uh, Miguel? How do you translate that? It's like trash, like- Like trash. Uh, mm -hmm. Escombros, like, mm -hmm. right? like trash, okay? Very good. And then around the sun's orbit, un lugar grande, right? You're talking about mm -hmm. space, a big space. So is it going to be combined? No. No. Damaged, maybe. Observed, that means looked. No, right, nada que ver. So maybe it's between B and D, right? And then I look at the mm -hmm. word scattered, and I look at the, the, the preposition around and I match, okay? Very good. So look, esta van a ser las más fáciles. <laughs> this is gonna be the easiest for you, right? Just to identify the meaning of the vocabulary. All right? So this is a uh, vocabulary in context. Now, por qué le digo in context? Because you have to read the context that they're using the word in, right? Because English, uh, the, the same word can have different meaning, different context, okay? All right, very good, very good. Uh, questions? Let's look at another example, the, the, the same type of question, vocabulary and context. Look at this one, right? I'm going to do, ¿quién quiere hacerlo? Hacer el proceso ahí. Scheming, main idea, read the question, read the sentence in the passage with the word. ¿Quién quiere hacerlo? Who wants to try it? Come on, I know you guys can do it. Who wants to try it? Okay, let's say, uh, who wants to try it? Uh, Melody, me, who me. wants to try it? Who's me? Alejandra, Alejandra. Alejandra, okay, okay. Uh -huh. um, well, in this case, I was actually about to ask you if mm -hmm. since perhaps we know already the meaning for flourishing, can we just go ahead and just skip um, the whole reading process of all of the sentence and just go directly to the most, you know, closest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. meaning? Because yeah, like, in this case, mm -hmm. I believe it will be um, letter B. Mm -hmm. But um, just to make sure, uh, like at first, mm -hmm. at first uh, glance, it just mm -hmm. says letter B, right? Mm -hmm. But just to make sure, do you, would you recommend for us to read the whole sentence? I rec or if you know if you know the meaning, right, and go directly to the one you think, right. So I think is this one, right? But my recommendation to you is to check. Check if you are correct, okay? Yeah. So my, my recommendation is that okay. you go back and only read the sentence, right? Where this word is located to check your answer. Es decir, como darte ese, esa seguridad Just interna. Just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure. All right. Yeah, because okay. look, eh, digamos, no sé cuánto, cuánto, ¿Cuántos puntos tiene cada pregunta? Right? Pero this is like three points, right? Este es like, este es una, una chance para ganar puntos gratis, right? Like, you know, add points, free Easy. points, right? Easy. But also, but mm -hmm. also I think it's, it's important to read the whole sentence because mm -hmm. it could be a case of homonyms. So mm -hmm. you yeah. may think it means the... 
the normal meaning, but maybe in context, it means other, other thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. That's good. Just to, just to make sure, para darte, in English we say, to give yourself the peace of mind. That, es decir, para darte a ti esa paz interna, right? Give yourself peace of mind. Go ahead and just read that, read the, the sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Okay, excellent. This is a good example. Another one. I think I have one more. Let me see. Okay. Look at number three. This is the third example. Swiftly. The word swiftly in this passage is closest, closest in meaning to. What do you think? I'll say letter B, quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it can be, definitely B. What, why do you think is B? What context uh, helps you there in the sentence? Because it's talking about change and fortunes. Okay. So that will give me the idea that they're uh, trying to mm -hmm. put in context that they can change um, easily or quickly or, you know. Mm -hmm. Good, good, that's good. So just give yourself the peace of mind, right? Even though you say, ah, swiftly, you know, I know what that means. That means quickly, just read the sentence, right? Just read the sentence and give yourself a little bit of peace of mind. Okay, excellent, very good. So that's that uh, type of question number the one, the number two, the one that we're going to learn today. So we learned already a, a vocabulary in context, and we also learned uh, the other one, which was the highlighted section. Okay, so ya tenemos dos dos tipos de preguntas. Let's look at number three for today, okay? Number three is going to be summary questions. Summary questions, all right? These look completely different. They don't look like a question, right? But it's like a bunch of information, right? Uh, let's read the directions. An introductory sentence for a brief summary of the passage is provided below. Okay, so, ¿qué es lo que te han dado ellos? A brief summary. Okay, so ellos ya te dieron esto. A brief summary. Okay, so that's good. That's good. I'm going to use that, right? En eso voy a depender. Complete the summary by selecting three answer choices that express the most important ideas in the passage. Some answers, choices, do not belong in the summary because they express ideas that are not presented in the passage or are minor ideas in the passage. This is not tiene mucha importancia. Okay. Very good. Over a period of thousands of years, the symbols originally used for keeping track of goods evolved into the first writing system, Sumerian Cunean uh, form. Cunean form, se pronuncia eso. Okay, very good. So, ¿qué me están dando? A summary, okay? Everything that I choose, I have to choose three answers. They have to express the most important ideas in the passage. Now, ojo, antes de esto, eh, Creo que el examen le da la opción para regresar al passage, okay? Le va a dar la opción donde ustedes pueden dar click back and you can see the passage again, all right? Now, the only thing that I want you to see here is la estructura de este tipo de preguntas. Number one, they're going to give you a summary, right? So this is good. This is good. This is what I'm going to use. De hecho, la mayoría de las, de las respuestas las puedo sacar simplemente de acá. Okay. But if I need to go back, aquí está la opción. Ah, aquí está, ¿ve? View text. 
right? So you can go back and see the text if you need to. Si están tomando ustedes el examen de papel, que ya casi no se da, pues obviamente ahí está la hoja, ¿verdad? Si están tomando este, que es el IBT, Internet Based Test, obviamente pueden regresar y ver el text. Okay? Very good. Questions? Questions about this? All right, so remember, you have to choose three that express the most important ideas in the passage, okay? So for example, digamos que todo el passage, right, is on three paragraphs, okay? Let's say, for example, there are three paragraphs, right? Normalmente, cada paragraph me da una main idea, ¿verdad? Me da un punto de vista. So, lo que puedo hacer es, esta es otra forma de trabajar, como son three paragraphs, right? Sacar eh, the main idea de cada uno, okay? So, este text normalmente va a ser three or four paragraphs, right? So, lo que pueden hacer es ustedes sacar the main idea from each paragraph. ¿Cómo lo van a hacer? Skimming. Okay. So you can use skimming. Sacar la main idea de cada passage, de cada paragraph. Y venir aquí, regresar y tratar de contestar. That's another way to do it. Okay. Questions? Questions for this? All right. I have another example. Let's look at another example of, uh, of these type of questions. Eh, esta pregunta se llaman summary, summary questions. All right, this is another example. No se ve muy bien, but this is an idea, okay? All right, so they give you a summary, right? They give you a summary. Aquí está mi summary, right? They, en esto voy a depender. Right. And si quiero regresar y leer el text, el passage, ahí está. Okay. Very good. Questions? Right. Ya lo después, lo demás es simplemente skimming and scanning and reading comprehension. Okay. All right. Questions? All right, this is another example. Este sí se ve bien, mejor. All right. Very good. So for example, you come, right? They give me the summary, right? And they tell me to find three answer choices that express the most important ideas in the passage. This is another type of question, okay? I can go back to the text if I need to, right? Digamos que son three or four paragraphs. Lo que puedo hacer es skimming y sacar la main idea de cada paragraph. Okay? ¿Cómo lo voy a hacer? Skimming, right? Ustedes ya pueden, ya saben cómo hacer eso. Okay? So main idea of each paragraph, right? going to get the main idea from each paragraph. En el caso de que necesito regresar, right? I'm going to grab the main idea for each passage. And then I can go back and answer, okay? All right, questions? Questions, questions? All right. So, ¿qué tipo de preguntas aprendimos today? What type of questions did we look at? Number one. Highlighted questions, right? Highlighted questions, tienen la parte azul, usually in the main idea section. I have to analyze that and select the best results, okay? Somebody has their microphone on. Alguien tiene el micrófono? Uh, William, I think, ya la pagaste, okay, good. All right, very good. Highlighted uh, questions, number two, Vocabulary in context, 
super fácil, find the word, locate the meaning in context, okay? Be careful, read the sentence just to make sure. Then number three that we saw, summary questions. All right, very good. Uh, questions? Questions, questions? All right. Um, I want to take some time here just to answer a question that um, that Juan was uh, asking me, right? Juan, the test that you took in el Centro Cultural Salvadoreño, right? Ya, ya vi qué tipo de examen es, okay? So let me, let me share that with you in, así como propósito de aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Porque yo también, eh, yo, yo lo averigué ayer. Yo no sabía, okay? So todos estamos aprendiendo, right? So I want to share with you that information. So give me a second. Um, I want to show you here. Let me go back, wait. Okay, eh, Juan, yo estaba buscando en Wikipedia the test, uh, the TOEFL test, right? Eh, Wikipedia, right? So I was looking at that and um, I found this, right? I found this information. Um, aquí está. In the TOEFL, right? There is one TOEFL test. Aquí estamos el IPT, ¿verdad? El que nosotros estamos viendo, el paper test, eh, paper based test, que ya casi no se da. Um, and then there's this test. Look, ITP, TOEFL ITP, okay? And this is what it means. Look, the TOEFL ITP test it stands for, ¿qué significa IPT? Institutional testing program. Our paper based and use in an academic context to evaluate English proficiency of non-English speakers, okay? Uh, the test is used, it used new and previous administration, blah, blah, blah. Okay, pero esto es lo que quiero enseñarte. Unlike the TOEFL IBT, the PB test, okay? And the PB test, the TOEFL IPT tests are administered by institutions, and are for internal use, okay? So, ese es el examen que está dando el Centro Cultural Salvadoreño, okay? If you go here to um, their website, uh, I think it's here. I think that they have Yo lo vi aquí, fíjate. Ah, aquí está. Sorry. Aquí está. This is the test that they are giving. Ahí está, ve. Eh? Este es el examen de ellos. TOEFL ITP. Okay. The TOEFL ITP test for them. Entonces, ¿qué significa el TOEFL ITT, ITP test? Es Internal Test uh, Program, in, Institutional Testing Program, perdón. So, what is it for? It's for institutional use. It's for internal use. It should not replace the need for the TOEFL IBT test, okay? Which is administered securely and includes speaking and writing components. Por eso el examen que tomó Juan no tenía speaking and writing. Porque Juan, el examen que tú tomaste es, no es el IPT, sino que es este que se llama TOEFL ITP test. ¿Ok? El cual es para uso interno. Es como si, digamos, yo voy a, quiero ingresar al, al Centro Cultural Salvadoreño, a cualquier academia, quiero ingresar a estudiar inglés, pero quiero saber mi nivel de inglés para ver dónde me van a poner, ¿ok? Puede que sea algo así. También estoy aplicando para un trabajo allí, dentro de esa institución. Tal vez me hacen que tome este, este examen, ¿ok? Y como dice acá, no tiene componentes de speaking and writing. 
Por eso, ese es el examen que tomó Juan. Ok. Now, chicos, no sé qué examen van a tomar. No sé exactamente qué opción ustedes elijan, pero solo les estoy enseñando la diferencia. Ok. Ya que el curso de nosotros se enfoca en el IBT, porque es el más completo, pues vamos a hacer la parte de writing and, and speaking y todo lo demás. Ok. Oh, and thank you, teacher. Thank you, because uh, basically uh, I'm going to try to get all the knowledge mm -hmm. from this course because it's going to help me to take that test again. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Todas esas estrategias, identifying the questions, the strategies, all that is going to help you. Definitely. Definitely. And uh, ¿qué pueden hacer ahorita? You guys should be practicing. I told you to go to YouTube. Ya vamos a ahorita a ingresar a YouTube para que vean donde yo estoy viendo los practice test. Um, you guys can see it, you guys can, can look at it. Um, and, and also you have applications. Um, also I sent you to a website yesterday, right? Uh, Les mandé una website ahí, so you guys can get information from the toy, from the toy. All right, questions, preguntas? Questions? Okay, you guys want to want to take a a little a little test. Let's go to we're gonna go to YouTube. Okay, so le voy a decir lo que yo hago. Simplemente yo vengo acá, right? And I go uh, TOEFL reading practice test. Remember, pongan reading, right? Because we're only looking at the reading section. All right, all right, very good. So there's a couple of tests here that I can look at. Um, these are IBT tests. Right? So let's look at this one. Congratulations. Now you have mastered the reading section of the TOEFL IBT. So in this video, we have prepared a full-length TOEFL reading practice for you to check your skills and see if you can apply all the strategies you learned from our previous videos. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel and watch our previous videos to learn the strategy for solving the 10 question types in the reading section of TOEFL IBT. With all that being said, let's begin the test. Ok, very good. Les voy a leer las instrucciones para que ustedes eh, conozcan esa parte también, right? In the test. This section me measures your ability to understand academic passages in English. You will read three passages. In an actual test, you will have 54 minutes to read the passages and answer the questions. Ok. Most questions are wor worth one point, but the last question in each passage is worth more than one point que es la que vimos de último, the summary questions. Esas valen, ya, van, ya las van a ver. Esas valen más de un punto. The directions indicated how many points you may receive. The directions indicate how many points you may receive. Some passages include a word or phrase that is underlined in blue. Por ejemplo, the highlighted questions that we saw. Click on the word or phrase to see a definition or an explanation. Within this section, you can go to the next question by clicking next. You may skip questions and go back later, all right? ¿Escucharon eso? Eso es importante. So, pueden adelantarse, regresar, okay? Check your work again, okay? So, pueden estar going back and forth. If you want to return to the previous section, the question, click on back. You can click on review at any time and review and the review screen will show you which questions you have answered and which questions you have not answered. From this review screen, you may go directly to any questions you have already seen in the reading section. You may now begin the reading section in an actual test, 54 minutes, and to read the, pa the, to read the three passages and answer the question. Note also, in an actual test, 
Some test takers may receive four passages. Those test takers will have 72 minutes to answer the question. Okay? So puede que le den el corto o le den el, el más largo. <laughs> ahí, no sé, esa es opción ahí de las personas que le están dando el examen. Okay? All right, so this is the IBT. Okay, very good. So remember, right, uh, that you can go back and forth, right? So para que ustedes vean cómo son los passages, este es un passage, this long, <laughs> right? You have one, two, three paragraphs, okay? So es bastante largo, right? Three paragraphs. Now, what are you going to do? Se van a, van a gastar 10 minutos, 15 minutos para leer todo esto? No, okay? You're going to go to the questions. Right. Okay. Question number one. Uh, what type of question is this? What type of question is this? ¿Se acuerdan? Vimos este tipo de preguntas. What type of question is this? Number one. Do you see? ¿Ya vieron? Inferred question. Inferred question. Right? Now, no vamos a contestar una por una. Ustedes pueden hacerlo viendo eh, cualquiera de estos videos en YouTube gratis. Ok? Uh, solo quiero identificar the questions, right? And, and see what are you going to do. Okay, so I have an inferred question. What am I going to do? Uh, scheming, read the question, uh, scanning, and eliminate the answers. Okay? Very good. Let's look at question number two. Question number two. What type of question is this? Highlight sentence. Highlight a sentence, correct, right? Highlight a sentence. So when I read the highlighted sentences, uh, ¿qué vas a hacer? What would be your strategy? Um, no sé quién, quién contestó. Uh, First, you, you read the sentence and you, you do scanning just for seeking the the, the right sentence and then you read the, the, the whole sentence mm -hmm. and identify the main idea by using scheming. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, eh, creo que lo dijiste al revés. To, to identify the main idea is scheming, right? To identify more detailed information is scanning. No sé si te entendí bien, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm looking for essential information, right? So what I'm going to do is read the answers, right? Ya después que hagan el proceso que explicó, you're going to read the answers, right? And if it's not essential information, it is it, this is not essential information, nah, eliminate it, okay? I read B, if it's not essential information, entonces, blah, I eliminate it. Y así van a ir, okay? Eliminating. Remember, it says, which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the highlighted section? Okay? All right, let's go to the next question. Question number three. Question number three. What type of question is this? This can be just normal question. Okay, one of the causes of social and technological development. Okay. Maybe rhetorical. 
Maybe a rhetorical question. Okay. Very good. So for me, I'm going to look in the passage for these key words. Okay. I'm going to look for social and technological developments. Eso es lo que estoy buscando, right? All right. Very good. Let's look at question number four. Ah, sorry, commercial. Hey, what happened? Ahí está. All right, let's look at question number four. Question number four. What type of question is this? ¿Cómo se llaman estas? Remember? Vocabulary. Context. Vocabulary in context. Very good. Vocabulary in context. All right. Let's look at question number five. What type of question is this? What was the name of these type of questions? Remember? Negative Fact factual. factual. Negative factual. Negative factual. No factual, but that's okay. Negative factual. Negative right? factual. Very good. And let's look at the next question, number six. Look at this question. Paragraph three suggests that before the invention of the plow, Sumerians use which of the following agriculture? So we have a key word here, suggest. This can be inferred question. This can be an inferred question. Okay. All right, let's look at question number seven. Question number seven. What type of question is this? Negative. Again. Negative fact. Correct. Negative. Okay. Number eight. Vocabulary in context. Number nine. Question number nine. Paragraph six supports which of the following statements about the Sumerian monarch, whatever that word is. This can be a rhetorical question. Mm -hmm. Okay. And question number 10, what type of question is this one? Remember? Summary question. Summary question, very good, excellent. Good job, right? So summary question, remember, they're gonna give me a summary, right? Aquí está el summary, they're giving it to me. Uh, but I might have to go back and view the text. So si le doy click aquí, me va a llevar al, la, la página con toda y la gran historia, right? And what I can do there, ¿qué pueden hacer cuando lleguen allí? Leer todo. No. What can you do? What would you do? Right? Es decir, voy a, le voy a mostrar, es esta. So, si le doy click ahí, me va a llevar acá. What can you do? You can do skimming and get the main idea of each paragraph. Okay. Now, aquí no se ve, pero aquí debería de estar una separación. Aquí, aquí debería ser one paragraph, two, and three, debería estar separado, no sé por qué se ve así, pero debería ser three, uh, three paragraphs, right? So lo que pueden hacer es main idea from here, main idea from here, main idea from there. I'm going to do just skimming, right? And then I can go back, I can go back to the question
I can go back to the question now. And I can read the brief summary. The Sumerian civilization typifies the regional interdependence that emerged among Southwest Asian societies around 3100 BC. Okay. Very good. So, eh, recuerdan que dijeron que la última vale más de un punto? Right. The question is worth two points. Two points. So, try to do your best to answer this question. Right. Now, remember, they're looking only for three choices. Okay. Uh, so, van a ver algunas que nada que ver, right? So, you have six choices. Okay. Very good. Now, lo bueno de aquí es esto, que la orden no importa. Digamos que son estas tres, ¿verdad? La orden no importa. So, what do I have to do? Eliminate. Use a process of elimination and eliminate. Uh, remember the instructions. These are complete the summary by selecting three answer choices that express the most important ideas in the passage. So, si no es importante o contradice el passage, eliminate. Eliminate it. All right. Very good. Questions? All right. So, Ahí vimos las 10 tipos de preguntas, right? Y lo que pasa es que se repite otra vez. The same thing. All right. Questions? Okay, very good. Juan, el examen que tú tomaste es, tiene ese tipo de preguntas? The reading? Oh, no, sir. No? No, only uh, skimming and scanning, and that's it. Mm -hmm. There are some uh, some details that, 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 that you provide yesterday that, yes, mm -hmm. I need to take in account for that because, yeah, I'm checking that. Uh, for example, the uh, when, when you mentioned infer, uh, I accept mm -hmm. negative oh, factual questions. Yeah. So, so ese I tipo si hay, si, si sí. está en el examen. Okay. okay, very good. Yeah, um, you know, como es un examen interno, you know, maybe they, they can change it, you know, they can change it. All right. Very good, guys. Uh, do you guys have any questions uh, about the platform? Eh, ¿Ya terminaron las tareas en la plataforma? Questions? No questions, but I found a mm -hmm. little mistake in the third one, I think. Okay. All right, let, let, me, the... let me go there. You can show me where. Okay. All right, so here's uh, the platform and reading practice. Three questions or reading practice? Yes. Said? Three Here. questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Reading practice, three questions. The third one. Okay. Inference and rhetorical questions. Yes, the first yeah. First one here, okay. No, the first answer. It says, mm -hmm. well, the right answer, if you infer it correctly, should be C, but it say it only accepts B, mm. and well, a seal with feathers doesn't really sound realistic <laughs> to me. Mm. The very least. Okay. But I want to say something mm -hmm. about that because I was actually doing this one yesterday, and mm. yes, I was like under the same impression as mm -hmm. Miguel. Mm -hmm. However, I don't know how true it is, but I was reading on the website, right? But you cannot mm -hmm. always trust mm -hmm. so, some sites. 
but it was saying like some seals will will have this type of feathers so uh, perhaps I it's true i looked at the, the name of the bird it might not be okay i looked at the name of the bird and okay I don't know. I don't know what the correct. I'll show you the correct answer that I have in the platform, right? But you know, the it, correct it, answer in there is seal, but in reality, uh -huh. it's a bird. I went and checked the name, too. Yeah, porque una una seal is una foca. Mm -hmm. It's an animal, but this one is yeah. because it's talking about nets, nest, nest and, and cheeks, nido, right? And chicks and feathers. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah. está la palabra seal, pero no la están usando en ese contexto. Mm -hmm. La están es seal aquí significa sellar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like put something together, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah uh, then you have here when the chicks hatch. Mm -hmm. It's another word. Okay, so yeah, that that can be wrong. Let me let me go back. Eh, no tengo yo las respuestas. I can't see the answers. The answer, the answer that it accepts is, oh, is seal, but after checking that. Yeah, the, that it doesn't sound like it's correct, right? It should say a bird, mm -hmm. right? That it's should be the correct answer. Okay. It's a bird. Okay. All right. No problem. I'm going to see if we can change it. Okay. I'm going to let the, the admin know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Le voy a decir a ellos. Le voy a escribir. Okay, cool. So okay. just just continue to do it. Uh, don't worry about this because you can go back and do it again, and 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 the score will change. Okay. So if we fix it tomorrow, Friday, or we fix it during the weekend, you can go back and do it, and you you'll get a hundred. Okay. Very good. So si tienen otras preguntas así, please please let me know. Okay. If you guys have other questions about the platform. All right, um, you can go to the listening section if you want, right? If you want to go to the platform, go to the listening section, go. Um, what you can do in the weekend is uh, look at, the, go to YouTube, right? Uh, go to reading section, YouTube. Vean más videos para que puedan ver más preguntas, right? Try to answer some questions. Use the strategies that we gave you. Identify the type of questions. Y ya cuando se sientan cómodos con reading, you can go to listening. And then just type uh, YouTube, go to uh, TOEFL listening IPT test. Okay, and you guys can, can do some, some listening practices too. Okay. Very good. All right, guys, well, uh, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for giving me the opportunity to teach you uh, what I know, right, this, this weekend. Uh, enjoy your weekend uh, continue to practice there on your phone with the apps look at some videos on YouTube um, look at the uh, está nuestro canal de YouTube donde está, están todos los videos uh, voy a tratar de cerrar esta presentación y mandarles ustedes la, el PowerPoint okay. so you guys can look at it there um, todavía le estoy agregando contenido right? so, um, but you can look at it there you can look at the videos again if you have any questions. Okay. Lo mejor que pueden hacer ahorita es empezar a practicar and actually take the test. Do the test I, right there on YouTube. Okay. Do the test there. Creo que algunas aplicaciones también tenían examining gratis. That you can do a test. Some of the applications. Uh, make sure that you're on the reading section, right? Okay. Very good. All right, guys. Uh, have a good weekend then. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good night. Nice. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.